Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I woke up yesterday uh, and it was snowing like a lot. So I really wish that I went outside and uh, and took some footage, but I was hoping to God that the snow was going to stay and not melt overnight. It's still snowing today, so let's go outside. So before I can continue and uh, go on our walk today, I need to take the rubbish and place it into this little hut because we have bears here in Finland and they like to eat the rubbish. <gasps> Let's go. Oh yeah, way up in the distance, uh, there. Ah. That's Australia, over there. <laughs> yeah. All right, Finley, let's find some fish. He's on the hunt. So yeah, it's a pretty nice day today. Um, it's not quite like it was yesterday. Uh, I think in the minuses, it was maybe minus two. It must have been raining because there was a lot of snow all the time. Uh, today it's like, obviously as you can see, there's, uh, there's no rain um, and it's just like a clear day. And there's snow, so uh, which is good because as you can see from the footage, uh, when there's snow, it just makes everything look much, much brighter. I'll try and go for a walk later tonight maybe and uh we'll see how bright it is because when it's like seven eight nine o'clock um it it looks like it's the sun's still up so yeah uh we live near the sea uh, as you can see or as i like to say the ocean um we come down here almost every day if we can uh finley likes to come down here and get his omega-3 fix and eat some fish uh we can't do much about it but he seems to enjoy it, so... <laughs> He's coming over this way now. But yeah, alright, let's continue with the walk. Uh, there's this hotel down near the water here, where we are. Uh, they got this pretty cool little hut. Uh, I think it'd be really nice, you know, if you're coming over to Finland and you're in this area to stay here and wake up with the view of the ocean. This is the hut here behind me. It's pretty nice, open. You wake up and get to see all this. There's a lot of these around. Um, we went up to Ruka, which is up north. Uh, was it last year or the year before? And we stayed in like a glass ceiling cabin in the woods. And there was a bit of snow, so it was really nice. But yeah, there's a lot of these around Finland. They really like to show off the beautiful nature.
<laughs> Alright, it's kind of hard to handle the camera with a glove on, so I got one glove off and my hand's kind of cold. Um, I absolutely love the snow. Uh, it's, it's one of the reasons I love being in this country, so I'm super happy when it snows. Um, lived in far north Queensland uh, for seven years and then worked overseas and in really hot places and I'm just so happy when it snows because I don't I don't like the heat and look how beautiful this looks it's so beautiful I really I don't know I want to see if this is gonna freeze maybe it will I don't know we've only lived here for a few weeks um, there's a lot of islands around here so there's not really much current especially when it's calm so I don't know maybe we'll see um, I know most of you have probably figured out where we live uh, it's uh, Boyasari um, it's a lot of really nice neighborhoods around here. Um, my wife chose this location. If you showed me on the map, I wouldn't, wouldn't have even known about it before we moved here. Um, but yeah, it's a nice suburb, good location. And uh, my partner loves coming to the sea. So yeah, most of my walks are gonna be along here. It's not bad. You guys are crazy. It must be cold in there. Do you want duck for dinner? <laughs> There's a nice little abandoned hotel here. This thing is massive. So this is the front of this uh, abandoned hotel. It's pretty nice. What's it called? Boranta. Yeah. Apparently, if you go in those doors, there's lots of hugs. <laughs> no thanks. This is what it looked like. <laughs> it's quite a lot of snow. Because we're going to use it tonight, so we need to get it ready. As you can see, the snow is still sort of up there. Yeah, basically all that was here. But yeah, if you do know, let me know because obviously I'm not used to this. Do you leave the windshield wipers up when it's going to snow or do you leave them flat on the windshield? That's something I need to know. Let me know in the comments. Finley, this is what happens when we take him on a walk. All little ice balls. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, we just came back from the walk. Um, I'm just having a little protein shake before I go to the gym. Um, I want to try and get in there before, uh, before the Monday New Year rush. <laughs> um, I'm expecting there's going to be a big influx of people coming, you know, New Year's resolutions. But some pros and uh, some cons uh, about snow. Um, I'm sure it's the same in all countries where it snows. When we first moved to Finland, oh, yeah. Um, we lived in the city center and the biggest thing that I didn't like about um, when it snowed was a lot of the cobblestone streets and, and concrete walkways and everything, they, they just become super slippery and icy. Um, yeah, the, the council in Finland or, you know, some companies, they, they clean them and they put down some, some salt and gravel and try and make it a bit rough and a bit safer to walk. But, Almost every day, uh, I would always see people slip over and old people, and yeah, it was pretty bad. So I'm sure it's a common it's a common thing, um, but yeah, that's that's one thing I don't really like about it. And the fact is, when you're walking, 
in the city around all the big buildings and stuff, a lot of snow accumulates uh, on the roofs. And my biggest fear was just walking and just having a huge chunk of ice just come down and hit me on the head. <laughs> I know the chances of that might be slim, but still um, the fact that it could happen, you know, just self-consciously, I'd always just sort of walk a little bit away from, from the ledges. Um, but obviously we don't live in the city anymore. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. When we're walking through the forest and stuff, um, I guess the same situation could happen, but I guess risk comes with, uh, with anything really. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, I guess it's like the same, like a coconut could fall on your head if you're under a coconut tree. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's just one thing I don't really like about it. But it is a small con, um, massive amount of pros. Uh, it's lighter all the time, um, which is awesome. You just, after coming out of that November, that dark November, and then it, it's, it, it's snowing when it snows, um, it's just so much nicer to see. Like, you, you, know, you don't feel as depressed, I, I guess I can say that. Not that I feel depressed, um, but it's, it's just nice to look outside. It's not all dark and gloomy and it's as bright and it's just a beautiful picture to look outside and see snow. I mean, it's super bright. I can't even focus on that, it's so bright. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't even I can't even show you because it's so bright outside. Um, can't even can we get this? Uh, I think that's where it was. Um, but yeah, super bright all the time. Um, like I said before, I'm not hot, so you, you don't really sweat, you know, um, which which is good. <laughs> I hate sweating. So yeah. Um, Another another con, um, and I know I mentioned this before, is people driving. Like, I, I don't get it. I mean, if you're from a country where there's winters and snow and there's no snow and you know you have winter tires and not, but you'd think you'd drive to the conditions. I, I I'm yet to see it. There's some people that are cautious, you know, and, and take it slow. The roads are slippery, you know, when when they're icy. But man, the amount of people I see they still drive as if the roads are normal is crazy they're everywhere and that's a pretty scary thing you know um like i mentioned in another video when you come up to crossings in finland cars stop but i don't take those chances um especially not in the snow like yeah visibility is much much greater um but still I don't know if a car's going 60 kilometers an hour and they're gonna hit the brakes and if the brakes are gonna work or if it's just gonna slide on the ice, so. This is our second snow day, uh, taking Finley on walks. He loves it, um, but we're actually gonna go and get him a snowsuit tomorrow, see how he handles that. I don't know, mo I know most dogs don't like wearing suits, but he needs it because the snow accumulates on him and he doesn't show it, he doesn't show that he's cold, but I know he would be cold. I mean, you know, we go for like half an hour, 45 minute walks and he's just got snow hanging off him. Like he has to be cold, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me stressing. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna get him a little snowsuit because we can't keep washing him every time we take him for a walk. It, it can't be good for his skin. I just wanted to show you guys because I heard from a lot of people that there might not be snow this year. I'm just so happy that there is. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like, especially around our new neighborhood. So yeah, please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.